Howdy folks, today is Wednesday, I think it's the 23rd of March. So it's a little chilly outside, so I decided not to work on the siding or the the deck stuff. But, uh, you know, since I'm heating the house, what I've done is I'm starting to build, uh, do the millwork on the steps. What happens is... Um, it comes in as an eight foot board and you can see right here there's nothing smooth about it it's a very very rough board and what I do is I cut them into 48 inch pieces and you'll see I have a stack of wider ones and then here stack of more narrow my ultimate goal is to end up with a two pieces of wood together that gives me about 50, uh, 10 and a half inches of, of depth. Now, what I then do, you see they come in and uh, very, very rough edges. You know, there's, uh, so what I have to do, and very uneven. So what I do is I have this contraption I've got this white pine board, and I've got an old door frame. And what I have is these, what's called hold downs. And I have this uh, door frame attached to the white board, and then I run it along the fence of my saw here. And what I try to do is have a little bit of extra wood from this board, which is my cherry board, I try to have a little bit of extra wood so that my, when it hits my saw coming this way, it'll give me a straight edge. Once that straight edge is um, established, uh, the next step for any one board is going to be to take it over to the, the planer. And what the planer will do is it will make this board nice and flat. So there's a board that's been planed compared to before it was planed. You can see how rough it is, but this is very, very smooth. Um, so, uh, I plane it, uh, and to get one side flat, now I have one side flat, and I have one edge square. Then what I do is I go out to the garage, where I have what's called a jointer. And a jointer, what it does is I take that flat surface, this is a, a machine that has knives in it. Um, pretty loud, listen to this. So what I do is I put that flat surface of the board right against this fence and the square edge that I did on the table saw going down and what this board what this machine does is it takes that edge and makes it perfectly flat so that when I get done I can take two boards and I can glue them together and there won't be while there will be a seam it will be uh, very difficult to see. I'll give you an example. I'm going to take a board and I'm going to put it flat, flat side down and I'm going to take another board that will get glued to it and that's going to be flat side down. Now two things I want you to notice. This board is thicker than that one. I'm going to glue them up like that, um, and um, I use dowels to hold them square. So when I get done gluing, 
what I'll have is the bottom side will be perfectly square and I'll run them through that and I'll cut them down to ten and a half or whatever I want my stair treads to be and I'll then run them through the cut down size through my uh, planer but I want you to notice look at look at how tight this joint is there's no gaps and what that is is that's because of that jointer out in the garage so first I cut a square edge on a board then I take it over and I use my planer to get a flat surface then I take it out to the garage and I run it through that jointer over those knives. There's three knives on that little cutting wheel. And uh, and then I, all they'll be waiting for is tomorrow. And I'll glue up probably, if I can get another clamp from my son-in-law, I'll be able to glue up three or four boards at a time. But uh, what I want you to see, this is the pile of sawdust that we have when I cut these edges to get them square. This is the pile of sawdust that I have from doing just 10 boards, 10 four foot long boards. And it cut that much of that rough off of the board to give us that, that smooth side on the board. So that's it folks. Uh, I'm going, I'm going to leave a little earlier today. We're going to go look at carpet um, to put in on West Bald Eagle. It's been in there at least almost 13 years, and uh, we need to replace it before we put the house up for sale. So uh, have fun, travel safe, and thanks for watching.